Tim here. We're out at the Herman Airport for day one of the airfoil testing. We got the conventional airfoil on the orange plane. Tim's got the KF3 airfoil on that one. So we've pretty much got everything set up. We've weighed the planes. We got a final weight on both of them is 38.6 ounces. They're both CG and we're ready to do an initial test. We're going to do a uh, penetration climb and glide test for the first batch of testing. We're going to be going up into the air, uh, wide open throttle, we'll begin a timer. Both planes will climb for 30 seconds, and then we hit our timer, bring both planes down, we're going to see who gets up to the top first, who's highest at the end of 30 seconds, then we're going to see who gets to the ground first, and we'll have a camera on each plane at the same time, and we're going to try flying both planes close by so that in any of these camera shots, at some point we should be able to see both planes side by side be able to do a side-by-side -side comparisons throughout. throughout. Uh, and then after that, if we have enough time today, we're going to do some stability testing on both planes. Uh, it may not be side-by-side -side testing, but we're just going to check on uh, roll stability, pitch stability, see how the planes respond to both of that. So if we get a little more time, we'll do that, but that may be on a later video. So okay. let's get outside. Okay. Oh, real quick, you guys have been working with Dick Klein, right? The inventor of the KF Yes, we have been working with Dick Klein. Okay. He's on board with everything we're doing, and uh, he's actually uh, kind of run across the tip, run past the, that, run the test past him before we decided on what we were going to test. So he, I know he's pretty excited to see what the results are today, whatever they are. So okay. Didn't he create some logos for you guys on the bottom of the plane? Yes. Want to show uh, me? Dick Klein and I, we worked together, and we created the Project Big Step logos. So this will be dubbed Project Big Step. So we did stick them on the planes and they'll be in the videos and on the message board. Yeah. So Yeah, like always, we'd like to thank Dick Klein. He's always uh, really nice and great to work with. Uh, he's full of um, knowledge and it'll be nice to see how these two airfoils compare. So let's get out and test them. Okay, All right. guys, getting ready for the first test. And it looks like the wind has picked up a little bit. What do you guys say it is? Maybe three to four miles an hour? Three to five, maybe. Okay. Pretty, pretty mild. Let's get these birds in the air and see what happens. All right, we're going to start our first test. It's going to be a 30 second climb out. We're going to count out 30 seconds. We're both going to kill throttle at a 30 second altitude and glide them down. Last one on the ground wins. And this is uh, wide open throttle from the throw? Wide open throttle from the throw on a go. 30 seconds to climb. See who can climb higher or faster and which plane will stay in the air longer with no power. So, last one on the ground wins. Okay, let's try not to hit each other. All right, ready? On three, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Kill him. Kill All right, we are power off glide now. Whoa, well, they're just gliding. I don't know, I kind of feel it there. I kind of feel like I'm losing a wing. I keep having to drop nose. And I ended up down first. Okay, we just finished our first test. Now, to make sure that uh, we're trying to control the environment as much as possible, we're going to swap planes. John's going to fly the green one, I'm going to fly the orange one. And that should accommodate us for any kind of pilot tendencies or skill. whatever skill. Or lack thereof. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> neither one of us is claiming to be better than the other one, but we both know we fly different. Yes. 
So we're gonna we're gonna do comparisons there to rule out any pilot difference on who flies higher, faster, glides more, whatever. Let's do this. Okay. Three, two, two one, go. Okay, as long as we kill at the same time, we'll yeah. still valid. Keep climbing and just say when you're going to cut the throttle. 15, 16, 17. Ready? Three, two, one. one. Now. Killed. That's what I thought it was. But again, I have to say, look how close the results are. Dang, that's really close. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Both planes hit the All ground. right, guys, same quick opinion on that. Time. The planes fly really, really similar. Um, glide rates are real similar, obviously. Yeah, you almost landed at the same exact yeah. time. That one was a little less different than the last one. So uh, that's the first time we've flown the other plane. So my they, they're real similar. It's real hard to pick anything out. The only thing I can say, which I don't want to say just yet, but I, I did notice one minor thing that's, I, I want to fly it a couple more times before I mention it. So, but yeah, they're flying real close to the same. They're scary. So we'll see. We'll do a couple <laughs> more right, flights. Let's go check them out. All right, test number three. We swap planes again and we're going to go up for another one. Ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. One. Don't forget to count. The wind is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I have a problem. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 21, But I was having a real hard time climbing that time. You've got to be kidding me. If I can hit your plane. Right on top of it. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is test number four. We're back to Tim flying the orange, John flying the green. And it's fresh batteries. Fresh, fresh batteries. batteries. Brand new on test three. Uh, the orange plane's battery kind of conked out and started losing altitude pretty quick on the uh, climb. So we're going to see if that was the battery. We're counting to 30 again. Right? Yeah, don't forget yeah. to count. 
Ready? And this time we'll remember to count. So ready? <laughs> Three, two, one. 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 Kill him. Kill. Um, I'm, I'm thinking the green plane does have more stability in the roll. Now that I've flown both planes uh, a couple of times, it, it really does feel that way. <laughs> yeah, the, the planes are close enough uh, in their abilities, the, the airfoils are so close, it actually is making the test dangerous if nobody's noticing that the planes keep almost hitting each other. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> Super cameras on the plane. It's not a bad idea for next time around. I've got a new keychain cam in the mail. Yeah, I can easily adjust my plane's speed to match yours. Look at that. Amazing. That was really close. Uh, yeah, really close again. <laughs> a very light adjustment in the elevator. I, I was actually uh, altering the test, I guess, a touch. As my plane would start to come down a little bit more than yours, I'd pull up on the elevator just a tiny bit. I don't know if it'll even show up on the film. And and the plane would just stay right there with you. Well, so far, out of four tests, two out of four, the orange plane has touched the ground last. Very slow, very minimal, but it has. Yeah. So, initial test, it does seem to glide a little better, but it's minimal. Um, the climb seems real similar. The glide does seem maybe a little less, but, you know, out of four tests, two of them, it's touched the ground less than a second. Yeah. The only difference that I've noticed uh, that you were talking about earlier that you mentioned to me between camera shots was that the green plane seems to be a little more stable. The green plane does seem and, to be a little stable. And uh, I know Paul had mentioned to me, again, between camera shots, uh, that the orange plane on test number two seemed to be wobbling a little more on the climb. And on this test, I watched for it, and, and I did feel like it was wobbling a little bit more on the climb than the green one. I've, I've now flown the green one And I one noticed up. that on the first one. I've done the flight. same exercise with the green one twice, same exercise with the orange one twice, and, and the green one does feel less wobbly. Right, it, it felt a little more stable. Climb. And on the glide, I noticed it on both planes. Coming around on the glide, when I slowed the orange one down, it, I had to counter a lot with aileron because it felt like it was dropping a wingtip. The green one, I didn't have to do it nearly as much. The KF-3 seemed a lot stabler at slow speeds and during that climb out. So both performed really well. So. We're going to do a couple other tests here, and we'll see how it all comes out in the end. But and it's a good start. One thing I feel I need to mention, though, is that we are flying on much less than one-to-one -one thrust. So when we're doing that climb, it's not the thrust that's pushing the airplane up into the air. No. It's it's nothing more than the lift on that wing. And they're both and climbing think, out and great. And I think we're, we're, we're climbing up at near stall position. And I think that's where yeah, we're I'm having that a tendency wobble. to pull up too high, right? Because I'm used to having all that extra thrust, and I don't have it. But right. they're but flying great, indeed. Agreed. So.